Well, I'll have a bit more to say about this in a moment. But, um, the latest is that Australian <coughs> protesters are supporting what's going on in Hong Kong. This could turn out to be a major disaster. A little bit more about what's going on over there. Uh, several thousand uh, communist Chinese troops are lining up and exercising and flexing their muscles and getting ready to invade uh, Hong Kong and take it over with total brutal force. So I'm not sure whether that's a smart idea for these people to keep on protesting and closing the airport blocking the streets and so on and I'm far from being a pro-communist but I'm telling you this is really going to be something in the coming days. Oh well everybody I mean uh, what more can be said in other words what we see developing is hard to believe but uh, my view at the moment is although the protests initially were quite in order in a sense of uh, the Hong Kong government wanting to send people who have been convicted of, of I suppose fairly major crimes in a sense uh, a way to uh, mainland China for sentencing or well, in other words uh, court cases sentencing, possibly uh, long jail terms or even death and they got that over overturned. Now then they continued the protests uh, to, and they've closed the airport, uh, closed railway stations and the uh, um, metro lines and so on and blocked the streets and now they've got several thousand um, uh, communist Chinese uh, troops. These are not police, these are actual troops uh, right on the border with Hong Kong. And they said they're not going to sit by and just watch these protests continue. Well, I happen to believe them. I believe that they won't hang around and uh, just watch it happen. Now, anyone who's a bit of a student of uh, world politics or world wars and so on over the, let's say, the last hundred years, let's just say World War One and World War Two, and, and the lead up to it, can see um, everything is building up now to, to a trigger for a third world war. And you think, well, some people would criticise me and say, uh, oh no, you're over exaggerating it. Uh, oh no, they'll resolve everything, and um, don't worry about it, etc. But uh, Hong Kong is only one of the issues. Uh, right now we've got also India and Pakistan uh, about ready to fight over Kashmir. We've got uh, leading people in the United States, influential people there and in Israel, wanting an attack and a war against Iran. Now, that you'd think that'd be almost one-sided, but it's not because uh, Iran's ally is Russia. And Iran only has to promise Russia the oil fields or something of that nature. Get rid of our enemy, which is Israel. Now, it's not beyond the scope of possibilities that Israel could be destroyed in a matter of an hour. Um, now that may bring on a world war and a and a, a brief one at that because if it's nuclear it'd be horrific it'd be terrible and a lot of people say no that's unthinkable i don't know what the word unthinkable means because i can think of it so that's a stupid uh, saying another trigger point is uh, south china sea now australia is has been asked to do two things number one to go with the americans and the british to the Straits of Hormuz, right off the shore of uh, Iran, to so-called guarantee f uh, free trade, um, sailing uh, the rights of, of international uh, ta oil tankers and so forth to sail 
in what they describe correctly as international waters, but uh, that there's a very grave danger that that can go wrong. Now, the South China Sea issue is just as bad. Uh, Australia will be patrolling with uh, military, primarily, of course, some uh, sort of uh, um, some ships uh, will go in within the 12 mile limit, and you only need a person, a, a commander in one of these fake. Uh, Chinese islands in the South China Sea to to warn the Australians say three times you go away you're in Chinese waters and then sink the ship now uh, a lot of people just don't visualize what could go wrong now Australia is not in a position to do, to do anything other than protest and all the rest of it and, and uh, uh, react to it but the United States could very well say, well, we've got a treaty with Australia. I had it not since 1951. It's the ANZUS Treaty. Australia has been attacked. Now, that can be read as being, well, they haven't attacked the mainland of Australia, so do you invoke the ANZUS Treaty? Well, Australia invoked the ANZUS Treaty when 9-11 uh, happened, and that wasn't, uh, shall we say, an easy thing, in a sense, to do. But it just happened. John Howard, the Prime Minister, just happened to be in, in, in Washington at the time. Yes, that is an attack on the mainland. But in Australia, having an Australian ship sunk in the South China Sea is not. But President Donald Trump could uh, order uh, retaliatory action. Some people, I'm not saying it's Donald Trump, but there are others that are itching for war. Now, this could get completely out of hand, of course, as you could imagine. And on a parallel subject, I've, I've been, uh, well, let's say angry, but uh, frustrated and disappointed by what's going on with all these uh, leftist channels like ABC TV and so on, carrying on about uh, climate change and all the rest of it and Pacific Islands and attacking our Prime Minister for his uh, stance on the subject. They won't be talking about global warming, climate change, and all that nonsense if and when there's a, a major war. And I'm saying, and I've said publicly, that there will be. Now, before people criticise me and say, well, when? I can't tell you when. It could be weeks, months, or a year or two, but it won't be talk. Let's talk about in the decades to come. There won't be decades to wait for this. This is going to happen much earlier than that. And China is building up in a similar way to what uh, Nazi Germany did in the 1930s. And people criticise Andrew Hastie, that uh, uh, parliamentary, me parliamentary member from uh, Western Australia, for comparing that China's rise with that of Nazi Germany. But I believe he was absolutely right. Let's just wait and see. We'll, we'll put this up now and... And uh, let's just wait and see what develops over the coming weeks and months. Thank you for viewing.